G'day everyone, I've decided to produce this little clip uh, referencing the Fronius Smart Meter just to give you an idea of how it operates, what information it represents and how we'll use that information moving forward, particularly when it comes time to sizing a battery. Now, some of you who do have a Smart Meter, this will just help you understand how to read it and those of you who haven't, just give you a little view uh, of what it's all about and whether it's uh, right for you. So what uh, we now see up in the top left is the solar production coming in from the roof, bit of a dismal afternoon, and the household consumption. We then need to draw the difference from the grid. Uh, the two combined give us our total consumption. And again, in the reverse, if we're producing more than what we're using, we will then export that out to the grid. Gone to sleep. And we haven't got batteries on the site, so that sits there as a little ghost icon. What I'd like to look at is in our energy balance. I spotted a nice date I wanted to have a look at to show you what's possible. Look at this. Self-consumption 100%. Now, what myself and most of us only see on our system performance is the solar production bell curve, which is this grey section here, offering us the information of total solar produced during the day. What this black individual line represents is, yep, you guessed it, the household consumption. We're metering the uh, incoming mains of the site and it'll plot a graph next to the solar production to tell us how we're using our site power and whether there's things we can do to, yep, my favorite word, load shift, uh, squeeze that into our daily solar production, thus saving more money. Um, what this information represents for us is if we go to our absolute favorite, oh, I guess that's per month, but let's go for each year, and this is key. What the gray represents is self-consumption on average for the whole year versus the green, which is exported power on average for the year. We can see here 35% of the system power produced was used, the other 65% was sent to the grid. This is the information we use to size a suitable battery, if any. If someone is consuming 100% on average, there's no battery conversation to be had because putting that battery means you're then charging it from the grid. That's a terrible investment. And again, on this current year, we're sitting about 66% exported power. All we need to do is know what we're producing on average a day. That'll tell us 66% of that can go to a battery on average. So that is, that information right there is absolute key when sizing a battery. Without that, we're but a salesman just trying to make a deal, say, I'll sell you a battery. And so for those of you who do have this hardware, Hopefully this is handy just to give you an idea of uh, how to read it and understand it. And for those of you who don't, um, moving forward as batteries become more of a conversational topic, um, I highly suggest this hardware to be your next step before you start considering uh, an investment in batteries. So uh, again, from Lloyd, have a good afternoon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.